know, I haven't gotten into Trayvon Martin yet. I, I, I started the broadcast out going, oh, look, uh, here is mainstream news admitting that our media is going to be directly targeted and the public's going to be targeted with propaganda and with psychological operations. Now, this has already been going on. It's kind of like the NSA has been spying on us forever, but now it's going to spy and record everything you ever do forever and pre-crime track you without warrants, totally illegal, and they're just going, what are you going to do to us? And now they come out and go, oh, yeah, we're going to have... Voice of America and its hundreds of sitcoms and dramas and soap operas. And by the way, you know what these soap operas are? Take your shots. All the, you know, the, the, you know, the classic brainwashing. All the conditioning. And now it allows those funds to flow and even covert propaganda planted in newspapers. They're just saying, oh, we're saying it's legal now. We're saying we can torture you and disappear you if you want. The president signed the NDAA. He can do whatever he wants. He can decide to kill whoever he wants, including U.S. citizens. Who needs judges? Who needs juries? Who needs indictments? Why do you think they're bringing in this culture of total tyranny? Because they're going to hammer the economy, take the bank accounts, and irrevocably turn America scientifically into a tyranny. And that's why there's bipartisan support for this, because the word's gone out, hey, you get with the program or you get dead or you get put in prison or you get shut out of the power structure and all the moolah. But the problem is when everybody sells out, everything collapses. I use the analogy of pornography. I saw a Wall Street Journal article a few months about it, a few months ago. Women, supermodel type women that were being paid ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 per pornographic shoot are being paid maybe $1,000 now. Many women end up doing it for free now just so they can promote their website and try to get a fan base, try to make money off that. Because everybody went in the economy the last 20 years and it went from thousands of women doing porn to tens of thousands of women doing porn to hundreds of thousands of American women now engaged in hardcore pornography. And then women started doing more and more bad things for their body, more and more uh, disgusting things, more and more degrading things, and now they can't even get paid extra money to do unspeakably disgusting, unhealthy, horrible things. And if you criticize it, you're a square and you're anti-woman and you're anti their freedom. Yeah, to have some uh, Russian gangster break their jaw and put cigarettes out on them, and yeah, you're right. I'm I'm trying to steal the women's wonderful rights. It's it's uh, you know I I uh, gay men have the lowest life expectancy in this country on average and have on average over 200 partners a year and, 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 and die alone without children and without family. I don't hate them for what they do sexually. I don't even judge them. I'm just simply saying, why is this being force fed? Why is this being promoted? I mean, I, I mean I've covered a Rolling Stone article, but I'd already read this in other medical journals. But a Rolling Stone article about 10 years ago called Bug Chasers, where from San Francisco to New York, the trendy thing is to get HIV. And so men go, try to go out and, 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 and get it to then show their family they're truly gay and, and really show their parents, you know, uh, that they've committed to it. I mean, it's human sacrifice that's going on. And what do they push now to five-year-olds in programming on Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon, on record to five-year-olds, teaching them not just how to have sex, which would be bad enough, but what are you doing sexualizing children, but confusing their gender and trying to teach them about not just homosexual sex, but other forms as well. I mean, this is a pervert, crazy government that's so decadent all they've got is targeting children. And that's what happens in every culture in history when it becomes decadent and goes into these cycles. We're sitting here watching this. So when you see all this, ladies and gentlemen, you wonder why every show is anti-regular father, every show is anti-family, and is pro break up the family or have foster parent families run by two lesbian cops or the bad guys on every show are, are the biological parents trying to get their kids back. I mean, I turn on, my wife goes, I can't watch any television. 
She said whether it's British sitcoms or dramas, or whether it's French sitcoms and dramas, or Italian, because she grew up in Europe and speaks all those languages, or whether it's American, or whether it's all anti-family, anti-liberty, anti-gun, anti-America, 24-7, because that's who runs our country. That, and, and that isn't just liberals running around who want to condition us to you know, all be tolerant. They want to teach everybody to not be tolerant and attack people that just want to live like normal mammals. One male fox, one female fox in a den having babies. A daddy whale, a mommy whale having two baby whales that nurse mommy in the Atlantic Ocean. That's not racist. That's not extreme. That's not bad. You know, they say mother and father. Those words are now intolerant in France and the U.S. and Canada, and the federal government's removed the name mother and father, man and woman. Just saying you're a man is, 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 is bigoted. Just saying you're a woman that likes men is bigoted. I'm not, I mean, look at it. This is who they are. They're attacking humanity. It's a eugenics operation. They hate gay people. They use gay people as the vector in New York to spread HIV. That's been declassified with HIV in, look it up, with HIV in the hepatitis shots in the 1970s. The Bayer Pharmaceutical putting HIV in the factor eight, putting hepatitis, I mean, they, folks, they don't care about you, but it becomes your identity until they caught a bunch of people trying to get in the Texas Capitol with bags of feces, urine, blood, bloody tampons, I'm sorry to talk like this, this is Associated Press, to throw it on the pro-lifers and the people in the legislature. And they run around spitting on people, screaming and yelling demonically, saying, I love you, Satan, hail Satan. We've, I mean, we've played it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm right down the street from it. I, 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 we sent Jakari down there, and he got people just freaking out, flailing around, like it was some type of demonic voodoo ritual or something. <clears throat> These women covered head to toe in satanic tattoos, screaming, hail Satan, with bags of poop. Because that's all they've got, is look, I'm going to be bad, I'm going to show you. That's their possession now. Not a good job, not having kids, not having a good husband. Not having some goats and chickens in the backyard and growing things and being loving. No, being demonic hobgoblins running around foaming at the mouth. That's what happens in every culture that gets decadent. It always, Rome, Babylon, the Aztecs, you know history. People end up cutting themselves, tattooing themselves, running around, human sacrificing, wallowing in poop. Japan, the most popular shop in Japan, look this up, are, are poop shops. And I got families listening. I'm not going to go any further into this. The whole point is, is that there are vending machines everywhere. I'm not even going to get into what's going on. Uh, things you can't even imagine. Uh, Bloomberg reported the number one seller in Japan now is, is diapers for men and women, not, not depends, because you, 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 don't, you have incontinence. It is, the, it is the relished pleasure of large sections of the Japanese to, to wear diapers and to defecate on themselves and, and, and to sit around watching TV and doing it right out of idiocracy. And, and, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you think I'm joking, and there it is, adult diapers surpass new uh, trend among Japanese women. And of course, with the Japanese, cleanliness was their culture. Being clean, taking two big hot baths a day, scrubbing their skin, being the cleanest culture on earth, but see, how do you become decadent? How do you show people, I'm desperate, I'm scared, I'm freaking out, I don't know what to do with all this electromagnetic radiation and this, and this TV culture and the breakdown of the family. What do we do? We commit suicide culturally. And I'm not knocking you if you got tattoos as a rite of passage, you were in the military. I see some neat tattoos. It's an art form. I get it. Got friends with tattoos. I get it. My wife's got a pretty rose tattoo on her back she's had since college. Whatever. The point is, is that in cultures, when the people start getting tattoos and cutting themselves and, 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 and changing their body, uh, look at the Old Testament. Every culture that did that, oh my gosh, get ready. It's a sign. 
Millions of diapers in Japan are sold a day for adults. And everybody sits there in their office or at the factories pooping on themselves and celebrating it. That's, that, that's the new, that's their right. It's their right to put a diaper on and to do this all day and to stink. And you are a square. I mean, what do you call it? If, you, if you're bigoted, uh, you know, if you say, hey, the family's okay, I guess it's bigoted. I'm a bigot. Maybe I'll be hauled up by the UN International Tribunal for being a bigot because I'm saying it's wrong to do things like that. And so that's all we've got now. And, 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 and the black community has been programmed more than anybody that what their possession is that they've been abused, they've, they've been treated bad, everybody's out to get them, all the whiteys are racist, and that they can be racist and say, kill whitey, that's okay. And then don't expect whitey to then become, and I, and I told you I would expect, I, I said last Friday, I said, I believe, I've been saying this for months, that Zimmerman would be acquitted because the charges were too strong and there's reasonable doubt. And I said, I thought there would be moderate riots in California, Florida, Detroit, and New York. And there have been unrest and windows being broken and things being set on fire and highways being blocked and people being assaulted, but they call it a protest. Oh, TV reporters got their cameras taken and surrounded and beat up a protest. Really, can I just walk up to a camera guy and break their jaw and go, protest? Just kind of like these protesters when the government uses Al-Qaeda uh, to uh, attack uh, Libya and Syria and all these places. So it's a protest. But America gripped by second night of fury over not guilty verdict for neighborhood watchman uh, who shot black teenager armed only with a bag of Skittles. Well, he was armed with his fist and was reportedly on top of him beating him. But I don't know. That's what witnesses said. Reasonable doubt. I don't know that O.J. for sure killed his wife, even though he's found guilty in a civil trial. So if there's reasonable doubt, he walks. Did you see white people going out and rioting and burning things down, burning down the house when that happened, even though it was sold as racial and some black folks went out and celebrated? Because, again, their identity is in being victims. Not all black folks, but a large minority of black folks joined by white anarchists and Hispanic anarchists, that's who's doing it, who just want to go out and have an excuse. I saw some of the videos of people blocking the highway. It'd be one thing if a protest blocked the highway, I'd say, eh, it's a demonstration, I get it. But people bowing up, walking up with their fist clenched by vehicles, I don't care what color you are, you come up to me with your fist bowed, I've, I've grown up and learned not to get so angry, but there might be a problem. I was hiking up a big 10-foot wide trail yesterday, and I had earphones in, listened to a book on tape. And this, this, this mountain biker had decided, I mean, you're talking about going up a big hill. He could see me for 100 yards. He got in the rut I was in and came up behind me. And at the last second, I see him and begin to step aside, and he hit me with the uh, handlebar. And I went, hey, man, what's the etiquette here? And the guy looks back and ignores me with earbuds and keeps going. And I went, hey, that, that is really aggressive. And the guy kept going. And I kind of jogged up to the top not to have a fight. But the guy got in his car looking at me and drove off. It was like that was his sacrament. Was to, uh, it's, like, it's like gang activity was to bump me. And I saw these people blocking the highway and bugging their eyes out. You know, black guys at white drivers. And I mean, I would probably flip out, folks. Somebody's like bowing up, blocking my car. I mean, I don't care if you're black, white, whoever you are. I'm praying to God that I wouldn't get angry. But I mean, this is really aggressive stuff. And it's and I'm telling you, if the media keeps hyping it, you're going to see Reginald Denny. You're going to see white people's faces beat in on the highway. And, and MSNBC will say, that's good. Now it's even things out. So I say we randomly pull white people out, sacrifice them to prove we're bad. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. 
I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. All right, folks, I'm going to open the phones up when we start the next hour. I want your take on all of what's happening, but this is globalist corporate propaganda through the government controlled media to create racial division in this country. And of course, I'm being sarcastic about, you know, let's sacrifice white people publicly to prove that, you know, we're sorry and atone for our evil. It is so frustrating to see this cosmology. I mean, do black folks or anybody else in this country know? that until the 1880s, German white slaves called serfs were being whipped and imprisoned for not doing their work or running away. The last uh, German province uh, in the 1880s outlawed slavery, serfdom. Uh, there were areas you know, in, in Cuba and places that didn't outlaw it till then. Do, do people know that white uh, people by the hundreds of thousands conservatively every few decades would be impressed by European navies, conked on the head by a press gang, and children, men, you name it, and drugged to be slaves on ships. You were slaves. I mean, they would kill you. If you didn't follow orders, they would whip you with a cat or nine tails, and a lot of times you died from that, or drag you from stem to stern under the boat with all the barnacles. It's called keel Hauling. Oh, they didn't make a roots about that. When you see Amistad or all these Amistad or whatever it is movie, I saw it, and it's just black people being beaten the whole time on ships. Do they ever show you what went on to the people that were slaves in the Navy? What do you think the draft comes from? It's just a modern version. But this was where they would hang you the third time you talked back to an officer. Hang you. Oh, but no one knows about that, even though it's mainline history, because it doesn't fit into the cosmology. So it's wide open phones, anything you want to talk about, but I'd like to get your take on, I told you that he would get off, and I told you uh, that he would walk, and I told you that I would imagine some sporadic rioting and, and, and light violence, and that if the media then encourages it, and says it's a good thing, you're going to start seeing people get drug out of their car. And it's only a matter of time, folks, till people get drug out of their cars. There's already cameramen getting roughed up and people getting their cars shooken and, and robbed and stuff. And the media is kind of burying that in the back of the paper instead of saying that's bad behavior. Because a demonstration is not going out and beating up a cameraman from a news station as if they did something to you. I guess they're white. That's enough. This is unbelievable, and it's just an excuse to act out and be tribal, and it's this Democratic Party idea that you get ahead by being tribal. Now, we're going to start the next hour, but the toll-free number to join us is 800-259-9231, 800-259-9231. Don't forget, Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0 and a whole bunch of new amazing products are available at InfoWarsHealth.com. Dot com. That's InfoWarsHealth.com. You can also call the toll-free number, 888-789-9277, to ask any questions or uh, get help signing up for auto ship to get free shipping or pay 10 bucks and to become a distributor. Again, you can call that toll-free number that is at InfoWarsHealth.com to be able to do that, or you can also just go to InfoWarsHealth.com and order right there uh, via the online shopping cart. And your purchases fund this hardcore operation of just telling it like it is. Please go to InfoWarsStore.com and you can find the ProPure water filters to cut out so much of the garbage that's in the water table and the tap water for you and your family. The lowest prices on the best gravity fed filter out there. Promo code WATER to get 10% off at InfoWarsStore.com or call this number. This is our offices. For any questions about ProPure, the films, the books, any of it, 888-253-3139, 888-253-3139. Second hour coming up. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show.
right, we're into the second hour. We have seen riots and assaults carried out mainly in Los Angeles and Oakland, California, exactly where we'd expect it to go on. Where the only thing they've got uh, out there, black, white, doesn't matter, is a culture of political correctness and obsessions with it. And it's, we're going to go over some of those photos for TV viewers coming up in the next segment as we take calls. DrudgeReport.com has the most extensive coverage on it. America gripped by second night of fury over not guilty verdict for neighborhood watchman who shot black teenager armed only with a bag of Skittles. That's the British press playing along with it. But the Daily Mail's got a huge article with photos and videos. There's also one on Infowars.com. It's got some of the same stuff, but also some other things. Uh, Oakland police stood down as protesters terrorized drivers. That's really important news by Paul Joseph Watson. That's the same thing that uh, went on in the L.A. riots and led to Reginald Denny absolutely getting his face stomped in. And I've seen people still defending that. Yeah, we ought to Reginald Denny, Alex Jones. Go to, go to my YouTube channel. Read the comments in my videos about this. These are real people with real sites. It's disgusting. I don't hate you, though. I realize you've been brainwashed and... I don't hate even the Klan. You know, they're just dumb idiots, man. That's all these are, black Klan people. It's really disgusting. Uh, also, Trayvon, Martyrs, uh, uh, Trayvon Martin, he's a martyr to get our guns, Freudian slip. Uh, supporter stage, second night of fury. That's Paul Watson's article as well. And uh, there's a Ron Paul article. We're going to get to all of it here, but I want to go to your phone calls. Let's go to one right now. Uh, let's talk to Sean in Canada. What's your perspective as a Canadian on this three-ring circus? I, I think it's clear that the media is acting as a, in a prov provocateur fashion, and, and they're just trying to stir the pot and uh, and create chaos. It's it's unbelievably irresponsible, and it's going to have deadly consequences. And um, you know, I'm always I'm always shocked at uh, how far these people will go, and, and that they're lacking uh, morals and scruples. It's incredible. Well, I, I mean, I just don't get how the media defends people randomly roughing up cameramen just because they're white from a news station. I mean, being white, you, you, you're not inherently evil. I mean, this is the opposite of what Martin Luther King talked about, judging people off the character of what they do. I mean, it was a white guy yesterday that bumped me with his bike for, for literally on purpose. It's like a 10-foot wide path. I'm on the side I'm supposed to be. He's coming up. He, 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 he. You know, I hear, get out of the way, right, when he hits me. And, I mean, I disliked him because of what he did, not because he was white. I mean, if he'd have been a black guy, I'd have been mad at him. You know, it was because he was a jerk. And some of these bike riders, I'm telling you, if I open the phones up, people would call in about it. They're just running into people. They believe they're God, not just with cars. They believe they're God with pedestrians. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, it's okay. It's that guy. It's that uh snobby smug green thing where uh, you're better than everybody else because you're you know you're, you're reducing your carbon footprint and the whole global warming hysteria you get to feel good because you know you're, you're part of that trendy new movement that's supposedly saving Gaia Mother Earth but it's um, but it's just ridiculous well you know if they did that later I would buy into it because I don't think fossil fuels are good overall obviously but it's what we got right now if they were worried about GMOs and the real big threats and chemtrailing then I'd listen but it's all about paying taxes to the Davos group, basically. Yeah. Well, I just hope I hope uh, the the violence is quelled and this doesn't go any further. Obviously, this is just more anti-gun uh, agenda stuff and um, and and racial divide and conquer, and it's just disgusting and deplorable. And um, no, I agree with you. They have successfully now fused racially being anti-gun. That's why so many Hispanic immigrants because they think the government's their friend, because the government gives them free stuff, or vote anti-gun. Well, why wouldn't you want a gun? You just left a country where you couldn't have guns that has the highest crime rate in the world, and it's the same thing for black voters. Most black voters, you can look it up, vote anti-gun. Why would you vote anti-gun? You're being killed because only the criminals have the guns in your cities. God bless you. I appreciate your call. See, I want to arm black people. I want to arm Mexicans in Mexico. I want you to be free. I want your mind on fire with liberty. Don't you get that? I love you. I want you to be rich and powerful and successful. The important thing about the Pro One filter today is that the material we use for removing fluoride and other heavy metals now will remove the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. There's no other fluoride reduction filter out there that will remove that type of fluoride. And it's extremely important because 
Today, we're hearing more and more cities are using that form of fluoride. We've been having medication forced on us through the water system for quite a while. Most people don't realize it. Most people don't realize the negative effects of fluoride. There's a wide range of health effects that are attributed to fluoride. Bottom line, why should somebody get this new Pro One Pro Pure filter? The reason to buy the Pro One, it's an all-in-one filter. It's convenient, easy to use. It doesn't require the add-on fluoride filter. And in addition, this filter removes the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. Let me tell you what tyranny is. It's when corrupt influences get control of the economy. And the economy is no longer about what you actually produce and what you stand for and the quality. It's about whoever is in charge and how big their gang is. And then productivity implodes, the society then collapses. But the globalists have openly said they believe high technology is going to now change that. And that's why they call their takeover, Bertrand Russell and others, Julian Huxley, Aldous Huxley, the Club of Rome, call it the final revolution of the technocrat. And that's why you see the Davos Group and Bilderberg and the EU and the Pentagon and all of them calling themselves technocrats. And that term, the final revolution. And it's scientific how they manipulate people, but once you're aware of the trick, then it's like, oh, that's so simple. It's like the trick of a rabbit. The rabbit's in the box, and then suddenly you spin the box around. Now the rabbit isn't, but you've slid down a mirror that looks like the inside of the box to create the illusion. The, the rabbit didn't really disappear. Just like it's not in the hat, then it's in the hat. It's got a compartment in it, the hat. But you tell a three-year-old that sees a rabbit trick, no, no, honey, the, the rabbit was already in there. Or the hat sitting on a table that has a trap door in it, and he pulls the rabbit up into the hat and then out. And the three-year-old will say, no, it's magic, he pulled the rabbit out. And that's what's so frustrating. I don't want to sit here and talk about Trayvon Martin and George Zimmerman. I don't want to sit here and weigh in on all this race garbage. People love it. People are primitive on all sides. It's fun for people to divert and to get into a group think because we're not allowed to have any type of group culture or group identity unless it's authorized by the mainstream media and then it's supposed to be anti-white. And that's only because whites are the supposed majority, not anymore, and so they've got to be guilted into politically doing whatever they're told. Oh, you're pro-gun? That's because you're racist. Let's turn our guns in for Trayvon. That's what we're hearing from the White House. And the White House is so concerned about one dead black man, but they're not concerned about 40,000 conservatively, last time I checked, dead Libyans, most of them black, packed up by Saudi Arabians and Qataris, brought in videos. Just type in Libyan forces, Western forces, Libyan rebels kill blacks, and you'll just see just hundreds of videos of them chopping men, women, and children up with machetes because they don't want black Libyans in North Africa. I mean, if blacks can't be in Africa, where can they be? But no one cares about that except for Cynthia McKinney and people that actually have a brain on their sh you know, shoulders. No, it's all about hating Whitey. As a political diversion, and if you go to Infowars.com, Oakland police stood down as protesters terrorized drivers, assaulted camera people, attacked news trucks, attacked police cars. Uh, cops were in cars that got the windows knocked out. What the cops do? They ran and cops didn't respond. I mean, if you talk back to a cop, I don't care if you're black or white, you're going to get your head beat in in most areas. You're going to get a proctology exam, you know, just to show you, oh, you talk back, I'm going to catheterize you now as a form of torture. Oh, but my goodness, they've been told you stand down. Why is that? Because they're wanting riots, ladies and gentlemen, just like when Daryl Gates stood down in the L.A. riots. That's what's being pushed here because the higher-ups want a diversion from the NSA gate, the IRS gate, 
uh, the corruption going on with all these appointments of people to ambassadorships for money. Uh, transparency suffers. The State Department fails to report where they're spending money, what they're doing. That's not transparency. That's open crime going on. Government on purpose is refusing to answer FOIA requests now on anything. They've got water district officials all over from Texas to Tennessee to New York saying it's terrorism to demand your water be tested. I'm not joking. Look, look that up. Government is going wild. Government is rioting. Bureaucrats are rioting. And let me tell you, they want some good old-fashioned rioting so they can call out Homeland Security just like they did with the Boston bombing. Three people killed, a few dozen injured. And they trained us for martial law nationwide, now announcing it on C-SPAN to start doing this anytime anything happens. Oh, fireworks went off. We're going to lock your whole neighborhood down and search all your houses without warrants. Totally illegal. We're going to do it. Oh, oh, fires in L.A.? Oh, some, we're going to, okay, we're going to let it get out of hand and then call in troops and lock everything down. Just like New Orleans, where FEMA jammed the police communications so there'd be a stand down, so looting would start, so they could go in and do a gun confiscation drill. I'm telling you, it's order out of chaos. Order out of chaos. This is what the government does. Just like big banks come in and bankrupt a country to then have it implode so they can buy everything up five years later for pennies on the dollar. This is what they do. This is just like big corporations come in and buy up another corporation for pennies on the dollar or get control of the board and then run up giant debts, steal everybody's pensions, and then break up the company and sell it and nobody gets in trouble. Just like in Goodfellas, based on a true story, the movie Goodfellas with Robert De Niro, great movie, is based on a true story. That's a true story. And they would go into a restaurant and say, we're going to take your restaurant over or we're going to you know, give you problems. And then they would run up the bills for a couple of years, pay none of the bills, hand it all to the owner, have them declare bankruptcy, right at, and, and then burn the place down for the insurance. And America and the rest of the world is being burned down for the insurance. I mean, do you understand that, ladies and gentlemen? And the globalists absolutely have beta tested the minority communities for the police state. And do you think after they have speeches that are up on Infowars.com saying kill the police, attack the police, do you think the police are going to act better or worse after this? Do you think after all this happens, you're going to have more businesses in your community or less? So, so then they say, well, let's go to the white areas. So they go to the highways and start doing that. And, and again, it's going to create nothing but division. Let's go to your phone calls. Dean in Virginia, you're on the air. Go ahead. Thanks for taking my call, Alex. And I, I got to tell you, I'm addicted. I'm addicted to truth. Me too. I've been listening to you for over 15 years, and you are my drug of the day. However, common sense is my drug. I want to thank you finally for getting those InfoWar business cards where I can hand out 20 to 30 of them a day as I wear your T-shirts to solicit conversations with people, to get people pro and con, either thumbs up or thumbs down. Then I give them a business card. I go, if you want to learn about what is real, go to this card. Then... My purpose also in calling is letting people know how they've been psyoped since day one of the Trayvon Martin. How do I mean that? Since day one, he has never, Zimmerman has never, ever been the alleged killer. He has always been the killer. I've been following other murders, whether it be a guy in South, uh, Northwest, in the Northwest of Washington, an Oriental, he was always an alleged killer. The cop, the sheriff, alleged killer. Zimmerman was never, and I listened to this. That's right, because people say, well, he did shoot him. You know, again, that's different from self-defense to being the murderer on purpose. He was always the murderer, meaning he did it on purpose. And again, there was reasonable doubt. He may have been a racist and gone out to kill him on purpose. I don't think so, but that could be the case. doesn't matter. There's reasonable doubt, just like O.J., the alleged, never the alleged. The administration, what president in history has ever taken sides in an ongoing court case? I, I can't remember one. No, that's but, what the lawyer said, absolutely. And and uh, Drudge has the article where, where it links through all the examples of how the media convicted Zimmerman up front. The media... Let's go to, Fo let's yeah. go to Fox News. Let's go to Fox News, who I watch now and then because they're the other side. Not anymore. Because they've been showing ad nauseum the scowling picture of Zimmerman 
and the skittle-eating 13-year-old Trayvon, and then they showed the smiling black picture of the sheriff and scowling picture of the white Hispanic. The black murderers are always shown smiling, the white, white Hispanics, whatever. To me, there's only one race. There's a human race. No, I know, but I mean, now... You, you could be you could be Korean, and they would say it was a white shooter. I mean, it, it just it's all about demonizing. And I appreciate your call. Great points. Yeah, I mean, they're calling people protesters, and a lot of them are protesters. There's a lot of trendies, a lot of whites out there as well. And it's just a way to run around and all feel like victims. And meanwhile, we're all being victimized by the globalists with GMO, the food, all of it. Julio, you're on the air. Go ahead. From Illinois. Yeah, speaking of GMOs, before I get to this media hysteria, I spoke to uh, Juan Enriquez, big biotechnician on C-SPAN two weeks ago, and he was telling me how wonderful it's going to be in a few years' time. We're going to have genetically modified corn that helps fight cancer. I'm going to upload that video on YouTube uh, in a couple of hours, but uh, GMO corn that helps you fight cancer. Oh, yeah, no, it's, it's called pharmacological uh, corn. Everything is now to program us, and then we get sicker and sicker, and they just do it to us. And then, and then we want the right to have it labeled, and the, and the federal government and Obama blocks it to feed us stuff that kills rats. Well, the answer is say that Monsanto is a cracker. Actually, if that, if that defeats them, I'll do it. Let's just say, uh, actually, that's a plan. We could use their propaganda against them. Well, it really is racist against humanity. It's, it's anti-human by the elitists. So let's just say Monsanto is racist. Actually, they were. They dumped the dioxin in black neighborhoods. You know, that's on record in Tennessee. And in so I'm being sarcastic. It's mouth. actually true. So there you go. I mean, I'm going to say it right now. I, and I, it's politically correct. I'm allowed to say it. Monsanto is a cracker ass. How's that sound? It's loving, Alex. It's uh, They're doing it in St. Louis, Monsanto's hometown base, in the urban neighborhoods of St. Louis, spraying chemicals in. But it's for, it's for their own safety. It's for their freedom, Alex. In the urban neighborhoods where PepsiCo and all the link cards provide you GMO food, it's for your well, safety, Well, I'll tell you what, Alex. stay there, Julio. I know uh, Julio. He's a great guy. Viewers have demanded it, so now you're gonna get it. More pro Second Amendment gun shows in the month of June. What we've learned is you cannot hide behind an I beam when there's a 50 cal present. Brothers in Arms, 50 cal ammo review. And more coming in the month of June to the Info War. So, foreign banks run the country. They're stealing $85 million a month. They publicly tell us that it's their right to spy on us without warrants. They publicly tell us that the government can secretly arrest any citizen they want, disappear us, torture us, or even kill us. They clearly murdered Pat Tillman uh, and many other whistleblowers. We've got persecution of the press going on at a level never before seen. But all of that is supposedly A-OK. -okay. Because the real issue here is white people are racist and out to get you. And, and I was being sarcastic about Monsanto, saying, well, let's just call them, you know, say they're racist. And then I was like, wait a minute, they have a long history of dumping dioxin in minority areas, spraying poor troops with uh, Agent Orange, with feeding us the worst stuff in the world, Bill Gates on their board, they're eugenicists, and I already know they're at the head of the eugenics operation, so it's really true. I mean, I'm making my own point. So many times I make an absurdist statement as a joke, and then I go, wait a minute, that's actually what's going on. <sighs> Let's go back to Julio. By the way, I've met Julio. He's a reporter. He's done some work for us before. He, he's, he's, he's a black guy, but he doesn't identify himself as that. He identifies himself as a human being. Uh, getting away from the GMO stuff that I know you're focused on, you're also a filmmaker. What is your take, Julio, on this whole PSYOP, or do you disagree with anything I've said? Well, the truth is stranger than fiction, Alex, and... Uh, it, it I interned at the number one station in Chicago back in uh, 2009, 
owned and operated by ABC. And I, I witnessed firsthand media manipulation, how you can edit things to, uh, per, to, to let the public perceive a certain narrative that you are looking to push. And it's done by the editors. It's done by the news directors. And you know, I, I've witnessed it firsthand. I produced news from college. And just seeing this media hysteria going on, you know, if you're a foreigner coming into the country and you're just watching corporate media for the last couple of weeks, you would think that the biggest story in the entire United States of America is is in Sanford, Florida, with one case uh, of a death of a 17 -year -old. And meanwhile, U.S. troops, uh, the headline today was, the U.S. is not invading Egypt, but U.S. troops are massing in North Israel, South Israel, and by the Gaza they are massing. Uh, they won't leave. Uh, they got there a month ago and are over a month ago and now won't leave. They got there in early June, won't leave Jordan. And Jordan's an ally saying, what's going on? You've got Israel with, with cruise missiles attacking Syria. And it's not even news. It's, it's, it's a racist cracker, uh, to uh, use the uh, term the media is using, uh, wants to, you know, uh, is jihadding the black people. There's so, there's so many different psyops going on just in this entire case alone. You have the psyop now of, oh, the justice system didn't work. The legal system in the U.S. is flawed because George Zimmerman was acquitted. When in reality, the state of Florida, the prosecution, prosecution did an abysmal job presenting to the jurors that that's George right. Zimmerman actually committed That's right. Crime. Even the Miami Herald, one of the best papers in the country from a real liberal perspective, owned by McClatchy, uh, had a big article with all these liberals going, no, they lost the case. I mean, anybody that knows law or has watched court TV a lot knows they didn't prove their case, just like O.J. Simpson. I mean, it is, it is a no-brainer. Even though we think O.J. did it, they did not prove it without a shadow of a doubt. Alex, I'm, I'm half Puerto Rican, half Venezuelan, and, and, and to see the media use white Hispanic, a made-up term that doesn't even really exist in the culture of, of Latinos themselves, it, it's just another psyop in and of itself. And again, they're trying to pay well, sure, this sure. immigration and the black. I mean, you look like Michael Jordan to me. So, so I, mean, I mean, you've obviously got some African somewhere there. Oh, probably my ancestors in Venezuela, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, 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 it's just so fascinating, Alex, this media psyop, so much is going on. I heard on MSNBC today, you know, I flipped through the media, I, you know, I monitor what's going on in corporate media, and they have this guy, Torre, he, he, he does the show The Cycle. He was talking about uh, white supremacy and George Zimmerman's secretive white supremacy and going after Trayvon Martin. Meanwhile, his cousin's whatsoever. a cop, and, they, and he, they called him Jorge, and most of his family was... Uh, I, I guess, what do you call it, mestizo? It's just so fascinating, Alex, what's what's going on here. Uh, it, 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 well, they're even trying to say this football player that reportedly shot the black guy over a fight with, uh, you know, a girl or something, that it's race now. No, it's not. It's a bunch of thug NFL people. I just I just can't believe it, man. I just, uh, it's just unbelievable. Look, I think Zimmerman was stupid, following him down the street, and I got to be honest, if somebody walks to me with a gun and I wouldn't do anything wrong, I'd be like, hey, man, what's your problem? But I don't think I'd climb on them and start beating them. The issue is there's reasonable doubt. Julio, good to hear from you. Do you agree there was reasonable doubt, Julio? Oh, yeah, there's, there was reasonable doubt. Uh, it's just <laughs> the media's blowing things out of proportion as usual. You have gangs in Chicago killing young children, but that's not being talked about because then they'd have to expose the drug war. They'd have to that's right, 262,000 plus blacks killed by blacks since 1976. 94% of black death by homicide is black on black. You're not going to hear that out of Al Sharpton's mouth. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at infowars.com forward slash show. Popular TV host and, of course, a former prosecutor and lawyer, Lionel, is going to be joining us. And, of course, he's been syndicated by WOR out of New York, and he has a TV show on WPIX Channel 11, one of the biggest stations in New York. He's got inside intel former prosecutor in Tampa, Florida, but also knew a lot of people uh, across the state. Uh, so he's going to be giving us his take. And, and actually, when I heard his take and he, and he wanted to come on the show, I, I, it was reminding me of how the police chief came out and said it was basically a setup. And they wanted a conviction day one for political purposes. And they had all the witnesses and were told to basically not talk about it. And now the prosecutors 
have been caught with the head IT guy going, hey, he's got guns, he's got loot in these photos off his phone. You, you don't want, you know, this to be given to the defense? I mean, mistrial right there. We're going to talk to him in a moment. In fact, we're getting him on the line here in just a second. But while we're waiting to do that, uh, let's go to a few more calls quickly. I said I'd take a lot of calls, and I haven't yet, so I want to try to get some calls in right now. Pete in New York, uh, you're a real quick take on what's going on in the world. Hey, what's going on, Alex? Thanks for taking my call, man. You bet, buddy. Love your show. Uh, yeah, I, I just could, wouldn't you agree that this whole Zimmerman stuff is just like a divide and conquer distraction from really the important issues that's going on in the world right now? I mean, we have yes. Russia on military preparedness. I mean, Iran's going crazy. I mean, Israel, Netanyahu saying stuff about Iran and their nuclear aspirations. Well, here's I mean, the deal. We've heard a lot about Iran. There's been a covert war there by the U.S., NATO, and Israel blowing stuff up. Uh, but now they're moving troops in. The Russians are moving troops into the area. And there's headlines like, you know, World War III in mainstream news. So you're absolutely right, sir, that while we're busy fighting with each other over melanin in our skin, but see, I have to cover this because I'm not doing the magic trick. I'm showing how the magic trick's done. I'm trying to defuse this by pointing out what's really happening. And the average, you know, uh, libertarian right-wing type talk show host, even though I agree with them on most issues, is busy talking about how racist a lot of black people are, which is true. And they're busy, you know, playing that up and it's actually causing a divide and playing, you know, racist sounding songs and things that, you know, really create division. You know, just because there's a lot of racist uh, minorities doesn't mean it's okay to then play into the whole deal. So that's why I'm forced to cover it. But I'm glad you mentioned it's a diversion because I want to point out I'm not covering it as a diversion. I'm covering it to show how it is a diversion. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes, absolutely, Alex. And I'm glad you are covering it. I mean, because there are issues that have to be addressed. But, I mean, for people to say that this is supposed to be the top news story and we should all just lose our heads over something that in my city, New York City, it happens every day. A Spanish person kills a black person every day, and you never hear it get reported. I mean, whether it's self-defense or not, I mean, there's bigger issues right now that we should all be focused well, on. Well, exactly. But, I mean, one reason black folks are so angry is there is such a thing as driving while black, walking while black. I appreciate your call. I mean, I grew up as a sports guy playing baseball, playing football. Wasn't great at really any of it, uh, but I had my moments, but I was, it was hit and miss. Plus, I'm not that big of a guy. But the point is, so I was in sports, so uh, half my friends were probably black, and I'd go hang out at their house. Uh, and, you know, some of them lived in the country, some in the nice neighborhoods, some in the slums. And so I saw a lot of stuff. But you'd be driving, you know, with your black friend next to you. You'd get pulled over. You'd be walking to somebody's house with a black person. You'd get... It only happened when I was with a black person or if I was walking home at night at midnight and I was 13 years old and it was white kids, the cops would then say, you know, well, what are, where are you going? What are you doing? Because it is a little suspicious to be 13 walking around at midnight. Uh, but I'd be walking around at noon on a Saturday to, you know, go swimming or to go play baseball. And the cops would pull us, you know, pull over and search us and stuff like that when I was a kid. So, so I mean, I get that's going on. And, and it's like Tony Brown has said so many times in Tony Brown's journal that what you see done in the black community, that's then going to be done in yours. So, I mean, blacks have been given the short end of the stick, but it's, it's turned into this whole culture of freaking out and hyperventilating over this stuff. Now, I'm going to go to David in Missouri and John and um, Ernest and, 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 and Ryan and Steve and others. But I wanted to get that call in there real quick before we go to our next guest. And just briefly, I also want to encourage listeners, the real revolution is about getting healthy. The real revolution is about filtering your water, trying to exercise, trying to not fight in your family, trying to build a culture, trying to grow a garden, trying to not watch as much television, trying to discover what real reality is and really being a deep person and not just going off stereotypes. And a big place to start is supporting Liberty Media. Buy your war bonds. Go to InfoWarsStore.com. The best films, the best t-shirts, the best magazine, the best books, the best material. It starts shipping today. State of Mind, the film on mind control that, I've in, uh, that I'm in, extremely powerful on Blu-ray. And on DVD, InfoWarsStore.com. Every order gets a free Citizen Rulebook, bumper stickers, uh, and more. Again, that's InfoWarsStore.com. And your purchase makes the broadcast possible. Get healthy, ladies and gentlemen. 
uh, InfoWarsHealth.com has the new Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0, the ultimate multivitamin mineral complex, uh, citrus peach fusion, certified non-GMO, pesticide-free whole foods, hundreds of great ingredients. They couldn't get the other one certified because there were just so many ingredients. Well, this one now has even more ingredients and is certified whole foods, trace minerals, antioxidants, probiotics, prebiotics, amino acids, essential cofactors, and more. InfoWarsHealth.com has it discounted, and you can go there and sign up for free shipping at InfoWarsHealth.com exclusively at InfoWarsHealth.com, uh, or you can call, and the toll-free number is 888-789-9277. They can help you sign up and be a distributor for 10 bucks, like getting a Costco card, and you get massive discounts at a distributor rate, or just buy straight off the shopping cart, InfoWarsHealth.com. And we are real, organic, true media funded by we the people. And I go out and I find the best water filter system and the major test side-by-side -side comparisons for my family. I use it for two years and then roll it out to my audience. ProPure, 10% off promo code water, InfoWarsHealth.com. I go, I find the best non-GMO, uh, heirloom, open pollinated uh, seed lines. We have the giant seed center, the biggest selection you'll find anywhere. Uh, dozens of different varieties and companies, you name it, the best, InfoWarsStore.com. We find the best books, the best films, the best info. It, it's all about win, win, win. Fund the truth with the best products at the best prices. Shop with the good guys, InfoWarsHealth.com. And spread the word about our local AM and FM affiliates. Spread the word about if you're listening to us on XM. Spread the word if you're listening to us at InfoWars.com. Spread the word about the free video feed at InfoWars.com forward slash show. That's how we're doing it, word of mouth here, folks. I'm risking my life doing this because I don't want to live as a slave. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want.